Is this little drone a toy? This is the Mobula 6 FPV drone. The drone industry refers to these little drones as tiny whoops. Tiny whoops are drones that are designed to be as small as possible, but still able to do the maneuvers that the bigger drones are able to do. Most people fly them indoors, but they can also be flown outside. When you compare the Mobula 6 to some other drones at size, like the one I got from Harbor Freight, it looks very similar. They are both small and have propellers. Sure, the Mobula 6 has a camera on it, but the camera is tiny. If anything, the drone from Harbor Freight looks like it might in fact be more expensive, but looks can be deceiving. In this video, I will be unboxing the Mobula 6, setting it up, flying with it, and then I'll give you my thoughts on why you need one of these little drones in your life and answering the question, is this drone a toy? Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Consider supporting me on Patreon if you wanna see videos just like this every week. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, we got some stickers. Oh. And then we've got some propellers. Oh my goodness, look at how tiny those propellers are. Those things are insane. And then we've got another bag with a screwdriver, some screws, a prop removal tool, and some more propellers. We've got a top bracket. This will hold the camera and the antenna in. I think this is an additional one. And then we've got the drone. Look at how tiny this thing is. Oh my goodness, this thing is so small. I freaking love it. Now, just as a comparison to the other, to the other smallest drone that I have, this is the other smallest drone that I have. This is the new one. So I'm excited to rip this one around and see what it can do. Because this drone doesn't come with a controller or any goggles, you have to purchase those separately. The drone has ELRS built into it, which is a receiver protocol that allows the drone to communicate with the controller. You don't need a big fancy controller like the one I have. You can get a simpler ELRS controller starting for around $50. As for being able to see through the camera, this drone has has an analog video transmission system. So you will have to purchase analog FPV goggles for it to work. Any analog goggles will work with this drone. You just have to make sure they are both on the same frequency channel when you set it up. There are expensive and cheap options for purchasing analog FPV goggles, but I just prefer these beta FPV goggles that are $70. The last thing you'll need are batteries for the drone and a charger. Starting off with a drone that has 1S batteries or single cell batteries is great for anyone starting off because they are cheap and it will help to teach you the concept of charging lipos. I use these batteries for the Mobula 6 and they work out extremely well along with this charger that allows me to charge up to six batteries at one time. Getting into the setup, you will need to download Betaflight on your computer in order to set everything up. First, you will need to pair your controller with the drone. And if you want an in-depth guide on how to connect ELRS, Joshua Bardwell has the best in-depth tutorials on it. Once you are paired, you will want to map out the buttons on your controller to turn the drone on and off, as well as a button to flip over when you crash. Check to make sure your goggles and your drone are on the same video channel and boom, you are ready to fly. This drone comes from the factory in full manual mode. What that means is you are in complete control of the drone. You control the throttle, the pitch, the roll, and the yaw of the drone on your own. There is nothing helping you. This can make it tough to fly starting off, but the more you practice it, the better and more comfortable you will get with it. If you are struggling really bad with it, you might want to consider downloading a drone simulator and practicing some more. Once you are up in the air and flying, you will notice that the camera quality is, well, bad. It looks like a TV from the 1970s. The reason is that transmitting an analog video signal is easier than a digital one and requires less components, making the drone smaller and more lightweight. This camera is for you to be able to see where you are flying, and it's not meant for you to be recording your footage. Now, of course, you can absolutely record the footage, but you won't be winning any awards for the quality of the image. Now that the basics are out of the way, let's get into the more fun stuff, because this drone is so light and it is set up like the big FPV drones. Once your skills improve, you can do some amazing things with this drone. You can do dives, rolls, tricks, hit gaps. You can do all the things you see popular pilots do online, and you can do it from the comfort of your sofa or go out into the world and fly at locations where a bigger drone might be disruptive. You can set up racetracks in your house and learn how to drone race or just spend time forgetting the world and being fully immersed in flying. 
First off, this drone is so small and lightweight. If you're just learning to fly, you don't have to worry about crashing it into something and causing damage. You are far more likely to break the drone before you break anything else. The maneuverability of this drone is insane. It feels just like flying one of my freestyle quads or a racing quad. Then you've got the price of it. This drone is only $109, which compared to bigger freestyle quads coming in at $500, it makes you less concerned with crashing it and breaking it, which leads to more confidence flying and pushing you to be a better pilot. This drone is really durable considering how small it is and how flexible the plastic is. The only thing that I've broken on it is the antenna and I was able to solder it back on and I've crashed a ton with this drone. And for the cons, this drone does not come with anything other than the drone, which I get why it doesn't because it's a standalone product, but that may make a beginner FPV kit like the Cetus X from Beta FPV look more alluring to a first time buyer. If you already have the goggles and controller, then this is a non issue. The repairability of the drone is pretty difficult in terms of soldering. This thing is tiny and does not give you much room to work. So you need to be confident in your soldering skills if you are going to try to fix it if you crash and break it. So that brings me back to my question, is this drone a toy? Well, if you've made it this far in the video, Video, then you can see that this drone is absolutely not a toy, but a serious FPV drone that has capabilities well beyond anything you could buy at a brick and mortar store for the same price. For me, this drone has been an absolute blast. I can fly no matter where I am or what the weather is like. If I have the desire to fly, this drone is always able to handle whatever I throw at it. What do you think about this tiny drone? Do you think you'll be picking one up anytime soon? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and consider supporting me on Patreon to support videos like this every week.